Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, you guys suggested it, so today, uh, and also for, uh, you know, a 1,000 subscriber special. Thank you guys for that, by the way. Um, I'm just going to be doing a behind the scenes on my animation epoch. And, yeah, I'll just go through all the animation scenes and stuff. So, uh, I'm just gonna be going scene by scene. Uh, so this is the very first scene... Um, the one where it's on fire. So, yeah, let me... Okay. So, you know, scene one. It's just, it's pretty boring. It's just fire. I did some, like, particles. There's, like, three different particle emitters. Uh, there's smoke right here that's just, like, volumetric cubes and then two different colors of cubes. So yeah, that's scene one. There's not really anything special to it. Scene two, I just sort of copied the file and I didn't do fire on this one. And uh, I'll go ahead and place it. Oh wow, it's so laggy. So yeah, uh, this is the second scene. I have these two animatronics here. Um, I didn't put Chica in because like you couldn't see her anyway because of where the camera was. Um, he, do he doesn't have any facelifts done or anything. He's not even doing anything. He's just, like, sitting there at the table. So, uh, this scene. Uh, he walks off into the hallway and has the evil grin. Uh, here's my, uh, Jeremy and, uh, Susie models. She, yeah, doesn't have a face. Uh... Yeah, there's, there's not really anything else to this. I put the lights so that when he walked under it, he would sort of, like, fall into shadow, then come back out. Okay, so, we have, uh, we, I'll show off the models too, I guess, but, so this, uh, yeah, I'll show off the models later, but, uh, Scrap Trap. Cursed, cursed, um, see-through guy. I just don't agree, this show is of my own making. Um, yeah, so, I did, I just, I like that. Maybe one of my favorite bits of animation, this whole animation. Um, but yeah, so, guys, I'm, ne I'm never doing the see-through thing again. That was a very bad call on my part. I actually added these, they're just cubes. For the eyebrows because because I edited this rig. This is just like one of Edgar Coaster's rigs. A kid walking. He appears here. Then because filler. This is just this scene is just filler. They just walk down this random hallway that isn't even in their way. He just keep he just keeps walking back here. And then he sits down. Oh, okay, so yeah, so for this scene, how I got the shadow, I had to like make him tiny so that the shadow would work. <laughs> so you have like, so you have Tiny Afton right here so that he casts the shadow. So for this one, I went and redid the scene, but this was the original, which is even, which is so cursed. <laughs> like, um, I wanted to make it look like the old Afton was like, trying to protect the kid or something but that just it just wasn't working it just didn't did not look good at all uh so i'm actually i'm gonna hide him i'm gonna hide this guy so that you can um see this animation because i actually really liked how this looked so well you know, I, I liked it at the time. It's not that good now. He he also clips like through half the whole thing. But yeah, and then this is the one where I redid the ending. I think I think you guys liked this scene. I got I got some like positive stuff on the scene. But yeah, um, I'll just play the ending because the rest of it's the same. I didn't know about Simplify when I um when I made this animation. So yeah. Uh, I added the light blackout thing in in my video editor and not in Blender. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so his arm becomes detached right here so that the camera can, like, get it. This was, like, the first time I used cartoon teeth also, which I really love. And I have, like, red lighting and stuff. Photo shoot. This scene, I didn't know about any kind of simplify. So, like, I did this whole scene, and their rigs were completely all smooth and stuff. Which, so, like, it's playing at... Five, it's playing at five frames per second. I think I actually redid this scene. Okay, so I tried to do physics for this animation at first. And... They pretty much just were cursed the whole time. This one didn't turn out too badly, but it also doesn't look very good. Uh, here we're in. <laughs> Fix her eyebrows because, like, before I hadn't moved her eyebrows. For this one, I baked her hair simulations, and yeah. So, Eleanor zooms out. Um, I can sort of show off like the set and stuff. So, um, you guys who have been in the live stream, uh, I'm using the same house except I like retextured it. Um, I'm using this same house for, um, it's been so long, except I, like, retextured it a ton, and it looks way better now. I added a garage and stuff. Um, so how I did the photos changing was just, um, oh wait, no, this is the wrong scene. This is just this scene. Yeah, boring. And I should have added furniture in the background, but yeah, there's not really anything else to this scene. Oh yes, these are the sad memory <laughs> scenes. Michael and uh, Fred Bear, who clips through him like a ton, and I was lazy and didn't fix it, but, um, yeah. Um, yeah, this is just like in the back of the same house, just sort of in the back uh, area. Mm. Uh, fun fact, this was modeled for, um, awful modeling, yes, but this was modeled for You Belong Here. Uh, I, it's, like, some, it's hidden somewhere in You Belong Here, and I don't remember where, but yeah, if you guys, whenever that comes out, if you want to look for him, he's in there somewhere. Okay. He just comes up and spooks her while she's randomly reading in the middle of the room. Pretty cute, I love this scene. Oh yeah, so this, okay, fun fact, this book, which I have used multiple times in animations, was modeled for Corruption, which was a super old original story that I was gonna do when like I first started animating. So yeah, this is like a map of, um, it's like a map of, it's just, it's not like an official map or anything, it's just something, a map I found in like pixelized and stuff, but, um, yeah, there's like armor. There's like, in my unreleased and redone lighting videos, you can, I think I sort of talk about it a little bit or something. But yeah, that's pretty much all. Uh, I, I deleted her hair in this scene because it kept exploding. By the way, I'll show all the like, cursed scenes with the physics exploding and stuff too. Oh yeah, this... This scene was also- oh, I took off his hair, because it was getting in the way. Let me turn it back on. Okay. Uh, I didn't make the camera move in this weird. Okay, so basically- so this scene, um, is also for You Belong Here. So you guys will see this scene in You Belong Here. Um, I was just like, you know, why not just use the sets? Cause why not? Uh, so this is, this is the TV, this is actually the TV room from, um, Sister Location. Where the, where you watch the soap opera, operas at the end of the day. Um, and this is like, I'm pretty sure this is like the wall texture that is in that game. Or like a very good replica of it or something. But yeah. So yeah, this is, this is the set, it's just the box. One, which is one of the latest ones I did. I did this one pretty late in the um in in the video. Go away. Simplify. Okay. So this one is very cute and sad. 
Um, oh yeah, this set is also for you belong here. Um, there's Fredbear. I think he was supposed to be in this set. And then I have like this laziness sitting out here in the back of the window. Um, but yeah, you, there's like eggs everywhere and uh, I tried to model some bacon. This is, this is really old stuff though. Um, oh no, there's a cube! There's a random white cube in the animation! Ah, that's not fun. It doesn't look too bad. It sort of looks like a cushion or something, but I didn't know about that. Um, yeah, I, I don't really, I don't really think there's anything else in the scene. Uh, so this scene is also for you belong here. Like half of the scenes in this video were for you belong here, but um, yeah, I just decided to reuse them. So here's the elevator. Oh wait, it still has the, it has the white lighting. Oh my goodness. It has the white lighting behind it for, um, for the, for the shot. But yeah, um, this is Baby, so you can watch outside of the camera. He's just, like, checking her, I guess. He's not really doing anything. Elizabeth. Uh, I deleted her hair again because it exploded some more. So yeah, so this set is, um, just an image I found. I sort of took this off Enchanted Mob's thing because he had, like, some nice, like, colored, um, colored... Uh, like wallpaper type of thing for his do you even animation so i sort of like i just looked up a picture of um i was like s like cartoon sunshine or something like that and then i just took it into a photo editor and pixelized it for the background and yeah these balloons are from ecker coasters ucn set her hair is in this scene oh they doesn't it doesn't look too bad this time I guess this was in the final render, but you can't even see it because you don't see the back of her head ever. I'll just sort of watch the animation from around here. And yeah. Okay, so this one, I was originally gonna have a scene with Henry in it, but then uh, since it wasn't, since the animation like wasn't focused on like Henry, like Henry isn't even really a character in the animation, I was just like, okay, let's just do this, uh, this thing. Oh, that's a, this is loud. So I was just like, yeah, let's just do the blueprint thing. And this is actually probably one of my favorite shots in the whole thing. I really like it. Um, I had a little candy cadet here just cause, just because. Um, so yeah, uh, just to make the desk not empty, I put the candy cadet here and this is Ecker Coaster's model. I put these from Micro Coaster set here, just to look like wires or whatever. And these are also from Micro Coaster set. Um, and yeah, his arm, his arms are detached from his body to do this. So <laughs> he's looking. He yeah, he's interesting. So so this one is I cannot see. But this is the same exact like set and everything, except I took the wall out so that the I could put like the sun coming in from behind it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the scene. Uh, basically, these are just uh, images as frames <clears throat> that are they're somewhere down here. They're like all sort of bunched up right here, but um, yeah, I just rendered these out in different shots and um put them in just like keyframe them into here uh to the short so yeah it was this was sort of just showing like time progression and how they're just falling apart they keep they lost elizabeth they lost michael and then william's gone um i tried so i tried to do this effect so the sun is like going crazy and the weird lighting, is, and I was trying to sort of like show time passing, but I think it just ended up looking weird. I did volumetrics. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, let me let me show you guys the sun in here. Oh, I just put it in here. Weird. Yeah, so this is the sun. And you can see that I just r rotated it like a ton. It seemed like some people were confused about the animation. This animation is not like a mic trap animation. It's, it's a 
it's completely like canon to the to the story, or at least like you know what most people think the story is. Um, I just changed the fact that like William stays evil at the end. That's like all I change. It's not like a mic trap or anything weird like that. Where did her face go, <laughs> baby? I don't know where her face went, but yeah, Mike is still standing there. Um, so yeah, baby, the mom. Uh, this is Michael. Um, scrap trap, and then him just to make it creepy. Okay, he's just. This is the creepiest thing about the scene is that he's just standing there. Um, and then I was like, Natsuki. I just, I just sort of did that just to make it look creepier. So yeah, I'm not really a fan of this walk cycle because she has roller skates. And yeah, I should have done something different. Elizabeth, he grabs her. Uh, the most the cur the mo most cursed hug ever. Be this is why you don't do transparent things. Plus Minecraft hugs, like, how do you even do this? His face is just like clipping through her brain. Um, I'll go ahead and just sort of watch this from out of the scene. She just like doesn't have a face, a look, facial expression. He's not lip synced. They all teleport a lot. Here's, I'll just sort of show this. This is, here, what if I do, okay, here, you can sort of see it better. Yeah. I like this scene because I was getting a little more experimental with the lighting and stuff. So I was like, let's try blue light in here. Okay, um, so, okay, so this set is, um, this is the same Microcoasters UCN set, except I, so this is like the UCN office, which I will show the like original set later, but I just sort of took the walls that were that were in here changed the texture and just brought them out then these pipes were like already in the set so i just sort of duplicated them and put them here to make it look like the uh fnaf 6 thing um these photos were actually already in the ucn set so i just put them i just put them here i also had problems modeling this there was some weird stuff going on with like the the things being like slightly like not completely straight and I don't know why but yeah I had some problem with this so there's like a ton of cuts and stuff in the set um <laughs> Bonnie uh this is Ecker Coaster's thing I'm not sure why I put this here because I don't like it very much it's like a kind of old render so I should have put like the crayon drawings there or something but yeah um I, that's pretty much it I just sort of added stuff to the scene and stuff um he's completely clipping through the wall here so let's just go ahead and watch this okay what happened to i just muted the music all the time so yeah this is the most inefficient opening of a door ever but yes i will take the wall Uh, he's like clipping a lot through this. Uh, this scene was like from inside of the vent, which I thought was cool. Uh, but yeah, set design, like, reuse. Just reuse and refurbish things that can be redone. So yeah, I have, this is just the normal set. I moved the tables out of the way. Um, I did volumetric lighting in here and just some red lights. A uh, bad idea of me to put I think this, these are point, yeah, it's a point light <laughs> behind him, um, yeah, not a good call. Destructive. The glitch, which I also intensified the red lights when it was glitchy. Um, I can show it from the side and stuff. Um... I should have made the teeth emissive. Yeah, I made Henry look so bad in this scene. 
Yes, it's this is the this is the alternate reality where Henry is absolutely evil. Uh, why did I mute it? I don't know why I muted it like that. That's annoying. So the lighter, and he throws a lighter. Um, I can sort of show it from outside. <clears throat> He like he th I he throws it, but he also I just like didn't get rid of this one because like why? And then this box just appears here so that the lighter can be thrown into it, and I just put a point light here to make it glow because I made this before I like figured out how to do the um, the particle fire and I was lazy and I didn't put the. Uh, I didn't put it in. So yeah, so I, I model, this is actually an edit of the thing I did for You Belong Here, the outside of the Afton Robotics building, and I just sort of redid it a little bit to make it look better. Um, and I put the sign here. Um, so the name, I didn't know, I don't know what the lo name of the FNAF 6 location is, or if there is an, even is one, so I just named it this. So I, I think I was wrong about that because I think this is the name of the FNAF 2 location, or at least that's what I heard. So, yeah, just bad, bad um, inconsistency thing there. Um, this city is, I believe it's called Madupolis. Uh, this is just a Minecraft world, and then I just duplicated it a ton and put it around here. I also did the this city backdrop, which wasn't a good idea because it looks super fake right here when they drive in front of it but yeah um i'll just go ahead and play this thing it's extremely laggy um i was pretty proud of this little bit of animation she jumps out of the car here let me go ahead and hide this and runs out and yeah also the the glass on the car uh i didn't i didn't do the glass right on the car because oh he's clipping yeah i didn't do the glass right on the car so i did like a mix of principled and transparent and yeah it was a bad idea but i didn't realize that the glass wasn't working because of um because this wasn't turned on but yeah Oh yeah, so the reason for them going here is just because they saw the building was on fire and they were like, Oh no. My son is dead. I'm going to go get him and save him, basically. That was the whole point of this. It wasn't explained very well, because these are my animations, and I don't explain things well. This scene is like my least favorite scene ever. Also, this is like one of the derpiest faces right here. <laughs> Very derpy face. Um, that was supposed to say William like as a lip sync. Cursed hug number two. Uh, the fire starts going. He runs. He keeps running. He... This is very foot slidey. It's very foot slidey here. But yeah, so basically they come in, and she recognizes him as basically the person that he was, and Elizabeth is there too, just because they, uh, William and Elizabeth already, like, found each other, but, um, they realize that Michael isn't here, so William goes, runs, and goes to try to find him. A shot of the building on fire, I put just fire and stuff behind it. Yeah, I like this scene simply because I like the lighting here. I think I did an okay job on the lighting. So, the building's on fire. He's getting, like, smoked out. Oh, okay, I didn't do a good job because point lights are just floating here, but yes. Uh, William sees him, and he gets scared. And then he's like recognizes him because he doesn't try to kill him and then this is not physics this is a ton of cubes that i animated um this was before i learned how to do the physics so yeah this thing just like randomly explodes because syncing with music is yes hey okay, so this scene 
the fire. He gets hit. Um, I just was like, ladder. So yeah, ladder falls on him. He gets hit by ladder. And he gets like, decayed basically because he's Michael, he's a robot. Um, what I did here, so what I, uh, am I, am I selecting this? Okay, so what I did to do the skin change, so you see he's like normal here, and then here he has like a different skin. What I did was I just copied the shader for like his skin and duplicated it, added a mix shader here, and then for one shader I did one skin, another one I did the other, the second skin, and then I just keyframed this that it would change. So yeah, there's a way to change his Minecraft skin. Um, show this from different angles and stuff. Uh, yeah, they're not even walking here. They're just bouncing. <coughs> uh, the, there's a ladder. I don't know if anybody actually noticed this, but yeah, there's like a ladder that just falls in front of the door. It was sort of just like saying like you can't get out you're trapped here but I, I think it was very hard to see so I don't know if anybody actually like saw that uh what is this lighting glitch I have no idea what this is about but okay blender curse tag number three I think oh wait let me go here let me go here uh, this is a bit of clipping that I didn't notice until it was like posted and I was like, oh man. They also don't walk, they just sort of stumble in here. This is a physics. This is very much physics. Uh, he grabs him, drags him. By the way, this was just a normal walk cycle that I just like reversed sort of. Her face looks really weird simplified. Her face sort of looks weird anyway, I don't really like the model very much. I made this scene with particle grass originally, which I really liked. Except then, it took me- it was taking like 8 hours to render this scene. And... Like, it kept crashing. It, I don't know why. But... Yeah, it just wouldn't let me render it. I tried it a couple times, and it was just nothing was working. So yeah, this was the original scene. They're just like, they, they are animated, but just barely. I just sort of like put one keyframe on each of them. So what I did for the blur was I just took the depth of field. Here, um... This is the depth of field thing. So yeah, so I just took the depth of field and put it like behind the camera. But this, I, I figured out that it wasn't even the- What? How do I- What? So I- then I thought it was the grass that was giving me the problems. So I just redid the scene and took the grass out. It's like, I think it's exactly the same. Except I think I added volumetrics that weren't there before. But yeah, the scene is exactly the same pretty much. The credit scene, which I just- it was just this one render that was in the credits. I didn't want to like do the whole fire or anything, but yeah, that's just the set. Thumbnail. Uh, I completely created in Blender. I didn't do this in any photo editor or anything like that. Um, I'm actually really, I really like this thumbnail. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, I can sort of fly around in it. There's just a ton of, like, lights and stuff behind him, which I really like. I'll go ahead and show off the sets. Okay, so this was the, uh, FNAF 6 location set. Um. Yeah, I just, so basically, this is Edgar Custer's UCN set. Um, except I just edited it for each scene and stuff to make it look more like the location. This is the room, security room. This is just junk room that I actually ended up animating in, but it's like trash. Um, I added this door just to make it look more like there was a kitchen there because Agricoaster didn't have a door there. Uh, there's also like, oh wait, here's the entrance door. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, that's ba that's basically all this set is. Uh, here was the stage for the UCN thing, and then since it was a uh, FNAF six. I just added this, um, which was the Pirate's Cove thing, but I just added this because it was more like the whatever you have in FNAF 6. And then random useless hallway that goes to bathrooms that don't exist. Basically like FNAF 1 location, so I left this open, um, Pirate's Cove is still there. This is the parts and service room, which has the innard mask, which I don't, I, I, I don't really know if that I don't think that works actually, but yeah, it's there anyway. But yeah, uh, uh, this this thing was here, which I'm pretty sure I opened this up. I don't think this was. Oh, wait, this was open before. I'll show you guys the original Ecker Coaster set. So this is the Ecker Coaster set. Um, it has. This was like for one of his like animation things. Yeah, it has this creepy throne thing. A William Kill Count, which yeah, I just got rid of, and also I got rid of the time thing. Um, this is com this was completely empty, and this was here, which I really like this model. But yeah, hallway is pretty much the same, and then here's the cleaned up room that doesn't have junk in it. But yeah, the UCN, and yeah, if you guys want this map, um. That I'm gonna, I'll link you to his website if you want to go download it. Hopefully, it's still there. Is yeah, this took me a while. So basically, this is Ecker Coaster's Bonnie model, except I went and just edited the head. So this is like the skull, which was originally an Indo, except I just sort of changed it to make it look more like human ish. Um. And then I just sort of modeled this, the mouth and snout and stuff, and then took um, took took the mesh and like edited it and stuff. So basic, okay. So basically, he has his eyebrows, but other than that, he has no like eye control or anything like that. These are just the basic eye cubes. Okay, so the scrub trap model was originally Bonnie. Um, I took this exact Bonnie model, um, just recolored it, recolored, recolored. it. And, um, he doesn't have a tail. That's sad. Um, and then I basically took the head off. Like, I just deleted all these head controls. Except I took the Indo head. And just, like, sort of, like, redu redid it and textured it bone, like a bone. And, uh, I, like, went and just, like, cut holes and stuff like this. This is just a Regular. recolored and uh, added AO version. His eyes are like clipping. His teeth are clipping. There's eyes. Okay guys, well, thanks for watching the behind the scenes. I hope I got everything. Um, so, yes, I'll thank you for 1k. And uh, hopefully I'll have a trailer of um, whatever whatever I'm doing next. Um, it's been so long. Hopefully I'll have a trailer of that out soon. Maybe like next week or so. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and bye.